Obviously you can see what I have here is uh, the Mighty Vac MV7270, Mighty Vac 7270. It's the spray washer and cooling system flusher. Just uh, recently got this, this item. Let's see, it includes uh, two interchangeable bayonet, bayonet nozzles. Um, there's a washing nozzle designed for operators to get close to the items being washed without getting wet, no splashback. And then the step up gun nozzle for cooling system flushing. Fits uh, three quarter to two inch diameter hoses. Uh, let's see. They say it's a powerful compact spray gun system effectively cleans and washes various surfaces without damaging the surface with high pressure, complete with interchangeable cooling system nozzle for quick and effective flushing of cooling systems without use of solvents and harsh chemicals. Uh, variable control, water valve, comfortable lever action, air throttle with lock on the latch, three quarter swivel inlet for easy connection to a standard, standard uh, garden hose, a quarter inch ear inlet, ear nipple included to quick, quickly connect to the shop ear. And then your working pressure is 85 to 100 PSI on here for this uh, item. It's long lasting, high impact, corrosion resistance, construction. Uh, long lasting, I've already looked at it. And um, this is the item. The, the body of the item. Uh, you got this ear, ear adapter for your uh, compressor. I've always had to change these out, but I think this will fit mine, um, the setup that I have. You got this little uh, mechanism here that slides back and forth. And you can just rotate it out of the way. And as soon as you pull the trigger, which very, very much is, it feels good, Sp spring loaded. You can actually like just hook it in place. If you're gonna leave it going. It's, uh, if you can see that, made in Denmark. Mighty Vac. So it's actually a Mighty Vac product made outside the US. So we'll do that. You got the the flow control lever here. You got your standard um, spigot set up here. You're just gonna screw it on. Feels good, feels solid, not gonna fall apart. This is a, uh, this has a nut that is doesn't appear that you can actually remove it. But nonetheless, a little pin that holds the trigger mechanism in place. I mean, if you need to, you probably could punch this out. I don't know why you'd want to, but yeah. Uh, you gotta set up right here, the, the business end of it. Uh, and then obviously you got this, it's for the, this is called the washing nozzle. Got this little tube right here. And then this is the end of it. It's pretty cold outside, so right now I don't really feel like going outside and messing with the water um, hose. And then you got the the step up gun nozzle for the cooling system flush. Obviously, the different um, allows you to step down and step up to different sizes all in one. It doesn't collapse or anything. It's just one solid piece of plastic. So is this. It, uh, to, so mine initially came with this like little piece right here broken. So you got on both sides, you have this little plastic piece that has a little cutout on it. Mine was broken on this side. I tried using some uh, 3M black super weather strip adhesive on it. And uh, it's probably gonna fall off. It's not fully secure. I wasn't gonna return it just for that, really. Right, it'd be more time and effort. But to install it, 
you just gotta pay attention to the little, the little, these little divots inside of here. They got them on both sides. Of, you can see one right here, a little cutout, a little cutout right there. Let's see if I can get some light. You see the little cutouts that I'm talking about, right there, right here, and right here, pretty much on opposite sides. So you pretty much just gotta align them with these little these little divots on here. So once you align those two, you can like just pull back on the, the unit and twist to lock it. it. Doesn't really have that much of a positive lock. I guess it does. So you can see I've aligned them and inserted them. So I align them. Because if you try to push any other angle, you're not gonna get, it's not gonna pass that little lip. It's, there's no room for it to go in. So you gotta align, align the little cutouts, push. It just has like a really tight suction fit. And then once you align them, you can lock it in place and it's, it's not going anywhere, right? Then you can connect your standard air hose to this, or water hose, uh, connect your compressor air and go to town. Uh, flushing out your cooling system. Typically for a cooling system you do a, most people will just drain it and refill it, but um, this is an option to do a uh, drain, flush, drain a system with the old coolant, flush a system with, uh, with water. Ideally you'd want to use uh, distilled water to flush the system Obviously, you don't get distal water out of your, your hose. Um, but I would probably flush it with this, and then, you know, from the top, I'll just probably pour some distal water through it. I don't know. Flush it like that, and then to undo it, you just twist. It's pretty explanatory. You just untwist it back to where you initially twisted it on, pull. And it's the same setup for this. It's, it has the same cutout. Just pop it on there. And then you twist. And once you twist, then it's gonna be it's gonna be upright. They actually do have model numbers on these ends. I'm not sure if you can purchase them separate if they were supposed to go missing, but it's the Mighty Vac MVA720. And this one is the MVA430. I'm not sure if they sell additional fit bomb. Um, additional pieces to this it doesn't mention anything I mean you can see on the demonstration the guy has his garden hose hooked up and his air compressor is hooked up right there and he's doing his thing so um, I look forward to using this really uh, sorry I got tired there a little bit I look forward to using this to flush my um, my coolant system up. I'll probably just uh, drain it because my my coolant is pretty much fairly new, so I'll probably just drain it, flush the system, and then refill it using the the one that I drained, so I'm not you know wasting stuff. But yeah, as far as feel, it's as solid. There's there's no wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I mean, this is not. It looks like there's a joint right here, but. I don't want to twist too much, but there's no play in there. Um, the air chuck here is fully seated. You might have to change it out um, if it doesn't fit yours. The lever right here, you know, it's a yellow, and it gives you positive control. It's like a firefighter, almost. I don't know. Obviously, when you're when you're using this thing, you want to get this out of the way because if not, it's going to come up and you know be in the way. So you just kind of flip it out of the way as however best it works for you. It's kind of it's kind of I don't know. Or just remove it. You can actually pop it off if it's in the way. Like it seems like it's going to be for the most part. I don't think I have a need to like just leave it fully depressed. But yeah, you can pop it off, and there you go. I'll probably end up leaving it on there because who knows if it's gonna come handy. Just gotta pop it back on there. 
without breaking it. There we go. Nope, not yet. Here we go. But the point I was trying to highlight is that if it's like right there, it's not gonna allow you to engage, but you just rotate it around. It's just, it just kind of fits out of the way in the palm of your hand. That's the best place for it, I think. Or stick into the side. So, so the best place for it is either uh, left or right of center. You know, it's either in your palm of your hands or sticking away from you. But anyway, that's that's user preference. But yeah, this is the the Mighty Vac MV seven two seventy. Anyway. When I use it, I'll make a video on that. And like I said, the only thing that came defective was this little piece. I mean, you can see it. I think the purpose of it is to apply like some kind of like spring, spring back tension on it or something. Um, but it's, it doesn't look like it's needed. You know, time will tell. Like if these two tabs came off, it might be a little bit loose. Like if this one broke also, if it broke off, and this one just like finally gave way or something. Um, but if you're not removing these pieces back and forth, then it should be fine um, to store it. I'll probably just keep the box just because it has two pieces. I don't want to like lose them. So I'll probably just, when I'm done with it, like I'm gonna store it now. I'll just you know, pop it back in the box. Just because it has multiple pieces, I don't want to. I don't want to lose them, or I could, you know, put it in my toolbox or something. But I figure this is probably the most effective way to store it and not lose it. And now all the pieces are back in there. Let's see. And then a little bit of information there. It's made in Denmark and something about Lincoln, St. Louis, Missouri. I guess that's where Mighty Back is located. Yeah, pretty nice unit. Anyway, check it out. Yeah, like on the way the thing.